podcast um, this is metal united and i'm delighted to say that i've been joined by the lads from elder druid how are you boys not so yeah. bad What's What's happening? What's happening? so we've greg jake uh, dale and brian isn't it yep that's, that's the boys and andy he is just overseeing things here making sure that nothing yeah. naughty goes down there's a, uh, there's another member uh, called michael he may or may not be on a stag day at the moment we're not sure <laughs> shout out to mikey yeah. Yeah. mikey he might be dead we don't really it's know important, <laughs> it's important to, re- to recommend <laughs> To remember his contribution, lads, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Presu- missing, memorial. presumed, having a good time then. Yeah, we hope so. <laughs> Absolutely. So how was the trip down? How long did it take to get down? About five hours drive. Well, we drove separately, but it uh, took me about five hours. Something oh. like that, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was fun. Yeah, it was always a fun fucking drive. A great time. So there's always a victim driving. Uh, yeah, d- So you split up, is it, in two cars? I, I, yeah, well, I took, I took the girlfriend down and just ditched all these boys. Oh, and yeah. then uh, Brian, I took all the gear. Brian, usually we prefer if he travels separately. <laughs> uh, there you go. There you go. It's all coming out now. He's the one that farts a lot, is it? That's it. Nah, I'm, just, I'm an exile at all times. They don't like me being near the rest of the band. Classic. And uh, I think actually you're coming down again in August. Is that right? Yeah. Is, is there a rumour? 31st of August, we're coming down to the Paranoid Pit thing that Mark Morrissey runs. Yeah, so class. That'll be the first time doing that with a very extended set that he's expecting from us which may or may not happen oh okay we'll, we'll see how, lo- how long we can we'll see how you feel uh, we don't mind down Cork we'll uh, five minutes we'll do a five minute set <laughs> just extend it for us half a song and um, is there f- other band there's probably one or two bands which eat but you're not sure who it is yet no yeah. okay and what, 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 who was the last gig uh, you played with I th- you were down Dublin with um, was it Dead Witches no 
Yeah, yeah, we played uh, in Cork as well, Dead Witches, yeah. Wolf Council and Sith Sire. Yeah. That was the last time we were done. Yeah. That wasn't too far that wasn't too far back. Was there one two month, month, two month ago? March. March. I think it was March time ish. Yeah, or April. No, it was April. It was over the, the Siege weekend. Oh, so it was yeah, like yeah, the, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. 18, 19, 20. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, sure. I saw you in the Siege. Yeah, that was fucking class. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. It did. Yeah, it was, it was a good, good. good set. Like a good, good time. I think we're all just about dying by that stage. That was the last <laughs> day of the tour. Like everything just started. We all started to break down a wee bit during that one. It was good, yeah. though. It was good. Like, nice yeah. wee blow out at the end. Siege is always a great time. And it's great because you meet like fucking shitloads of different lads from different bands, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like my bands we've met just going up and down the country, like. Yeah. There's loads of them. Like Zora and stuff. We'd be going with Zora Boys, some from the Tree Boys. Like, just loads of bands you meet. Like, we met someone on the Siege, met someone playing other gigs. Yeah, Brian is wearing a Zora t shirt, yeah, by the way. Yeah, got a big Zora. Well done, we're Brian. We're at the Boys, like, we're at the Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking forward to seeing them tonight, yeah? Yeah, it's going to be a good set, like. Yeah. Always is. They're playing for an hour, aren't they? Yeah, correct, yeah. Class. Incredible. Yeah, they're, they're something else, man. They're something else. And Colin has um, another side project called Spirit Merchant as well. So Yeah, yeah, I've been hearing um, about that recently. Yeah, so that's quite good as well. It'll be interesting to see the way that goes around. So um, I saw that you released um, on Facebook there some information about the new album. Do you want to talk about that, lads? Why not? Go far. What about you, Greg? Yeah, so um, the information we have released is our album artwork yeah. done by Marius Lewandowski. He did the... I'm glad you pronounced that. <laughs> <laughs> the Mirror Reaper for Bell Witch's album. Yeah. So absolutely amazing, abstract, yeah. just immensely immersive. Um, so that's sort of a snippet of what to expect from the album and, and what the we're trying to achieve. Uh, I think that's often um, an overlooked fact that um, it's often very hard to settle on an album cover that you'll all agree yeah, on, like, yeah. you know? We saw that and we just thought, fuck it, that's exactly what yeah, we want. Yeah, that's what we want. Uh, so we dropped it and we put out the uh, track list for the album as well. Yeah. Uh, we'd already set, we'd set, set the track list a while ago and we have quite a bit of the work for it mostly done. We have like, some, some masters and mixes left to finish up and then... Yeah. Just made a few wee overdubs, few wee tidy ups, but uh, Jesus, you're super organised. Ah, uh, the bulk of it's done. We're <laughs> sort of looking what towards the end of the year, hopefully, yeah. to have it going out. Don't put so dates on it. We're not yeah. putting dates on it, but no dates. Towards, towards the end of the year is what we're hoping for. We're recording it in uh, ourselves as well. We're not oh, yeah. going to a studio. That we've had great experiences in studios in the past, but uh, we had the we had the ability to do it ourselves and uh, I think it's it's coming out pretty pretty interesting yeah, sound deals are deals are mixed master general he's doing <laughs> on, he's dude. doing all the mixing on it we've done a little bit of uh, a f- a recently a few gigs we've done uh, the two bass thing where we had like uh, our, our friend Daniel uh, he, he plays bass with us sometimes so we've to, we've done that a little bit on the record as well it's just like a good, kind of a different sound as well yeah. than what we would be used to but it's, it's sounding pretty cool. Really yeah. looking forward to getting it all polished, ready to go. Uh, I think we'll be very proud of it whenever it is. Uh, sound as big as possible. Yeah, but basically, yeah. Yeah, see, budgets are, are a bitch, like for bands as well. You know, I mean, if you're, I mean, if you're doing it yourself, you know, I mean, that's that's cutting costs straight away. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So well. we, had, we pay for the room pretty much, yeah. and that's that's. So it, who's like, the who's the harshest critic of you there? Probably Mikey, actually. <laughs> Mikey, yeah, Mikey yeah. not being here is probably Mikey, yeah. Because <laughs> you need one of those as well. Like. Yeah, Mikey might be a good man. He'd always sit down, he'd be the first one usually listen to a mix and be, mix and be like, aye, that's the problem. Yeah, it's good though to have that because you want it to be, you don't want it to, like, it's the typical thing if you're recording it yourself and then you try it and it sounds great on one system uh, to one person and you're like, oh, great, this is, this is great, this is finished, but... It's better if you have loads of people throwing their kind of genuine uh, critical feeling about it. Yeah. Because then you can really focus it down to the point where it sounds good on any sort of system you yeah. listen to. Yeah. Because you'd have like we'd be listening in cars, listening in headphones, yeah, listening yeah, in studio, course, yeah. listening to everywhere. Like so, I get as much yeah. feedback as possible basically until we get it nailed down. Yeah. I think it was was it one of the Metallica lads or something like that. How they kind of do it is is they just put the fucking cassette in the car and drive around it yeah, for a yeah, few days, much, you know? Yeah. It's pretty easy, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's the way it's going to be listened to a lot of the way. Like, yeah, it's good to have it sounding good on really crappy little systems as well as the big systems, yeah. you know? What about um, formats? Would you love to... I mean, vinyl is expensive, you know? Um, <laughs> Vinyl's wouldn't, wouldn't we all love to uh, have a vinyl album? Vinyl's something we we'll are looking into. Um, Throwing the beat out. Yeah, like, even... Even if it came to it, we'd like to have a vinyl copy for ourselves. Yeah. Like, even if it was just that, just to have one each that we could all own. Yeah. Like, this is our album on vinyl, sort of thing. But ideally, we would like to get something like that done. 
but uh, I think we'll worry about getting a finish first. Before yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, and cassettes as well. Um, uh, they're, they're slowly totally. coming in again. Jesus Christ! I remember, like, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm 48, like, so, like, I was buying Metallica cassettes and going around with Walkmans on me, fucking rocking <laughs> out to the lads, you know. Yeah. I never ever thought cassettes would ever come back again, but it's uh, a it's a big thing, like, you know. But uh, you, you even have the likes of Power Trip now releasing cassettes, you know. Yeah, quite a few boys been listening to cassettes. Like I've seen, I've seen a couple of them floating around. Uh, I think Somalia's Sl- Conan. I think they were doing stuff on cassette as well. They did pretty much every album re-released on cassette recently. Just did they? Yeah. They saw there was a trend coming back, and they yeah. just re-released every single album. Yeah. And when you've got fifty thousand odd likes on Facebook, is it wonder is it money. probably could be cheaper with cassette to put them out? I yeah, don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's, it's cheaper ah, than CDs. Awesome. It's like uh, it's really, is really it cheaper cheap. than CDs? I think so. I fuck. Okay, there's one for you. Yeah. Huh. Um, I was just. I just had um, Black Shook on with me there. Um, they're heading to Bloodstock this year. Class, um, yeah. We need you over there, lads. We're ah, trying, yeah. you're we're trying, we're trying we're yeah. Bloody trying. We did, like, we did the Metal of Masses there again this year. Was, we got the final. Uh, didn't get in the finals. Lockhorns won the yeah, final. That's uh, correct, yeah. But what? Lockhorns, Lockhorns are great as well. Are they, they're yeah? Phenomenal band. Really, really good guys. Really nice band. So yeah. they're, they're heading over this year. And but a sect as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the boys well. said um, when they heard a sect, um, in the semi-finals, I said they're gonna fucking win it. Yeah, you yeah. Know, they were, that was it. Like you know, that's it. Like that's it. You sort of sometimes you sort of know. Like we we uh, I think at one stage me and Greg were walking outside when Lockhorns were playing in our final, and we heard like most of the crowd singing along. We're like, ah, right, that boy's <laughs> okay. won. We'll, have, we'll, have <laughs> we'll go home now. I, we played first, and we played a bit of a blinder. We thought so. We were quite confident. We were uh, sit, sitting through the other bands and going, yeah, we still stand a chance here. Yeah. We still stand a chance. And then Alex, the singer for Lockhorns, he sang this little melody bit and got the crowd singing back with him. And at that moment, I just wanted to go and for a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> As I was walking, I was going, that bastard, that bastard. And it was stuck in my head, bumped into Brian and said, he just got the crowd to sing back with him. And he goes, oh, is that who that is? Is that Lockhorns? I was singing it back with them too. And you were on the toilet singing it <laughs> I was, well. I was up in the toilet and I was like, oh, it's a great song. Sing along. Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Classic. That, was, that um, was the moment. Oh, do, but the uh, Alcorns are great guys, like so. <laughs> great band. Um, I saw as well Owen Wynn from Ten Ton Slug was involved. Which he? Yep, he did the. That's pretty cool. He did the album artwork for the last album. Right. And then we printed it out on t-shirts, like on like a bag design for that. Yeah. But yeah, it was fucking awesome. We just said to him, we want something satanic, and that was it. And yeah. He came back with that first time. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely so, dude. Yeah, really nice. All the, all them boys are like we've been really blessed with like a lot of good artists that turn around and just be like. Yeah, like even like the original design, the druid that we have, uh, it was the guy from the Philippines originally yeah. designed it. Alfie and Andy. Yeah, Alfie Andy. He just uh, messaged on Facebook and was like, uh, "I drew this up. What do you think?" Sort of thing. And we were like, "That's Jeez. fucking sick. We'll take it." Yeah. Like, gone to the point where I have it tattooed in my calf and all now. Have like, you really? Yeah, yeah. Got, got like tattooed on the calf of the druid. <laughs> like, got around the boys. And um, kind of with the new album, have you kind of worked out what length is it going to land in? It is it a long player like? <laughs> Depends how fast I play, really. But uh, lengthwise, like we've uh, most of our songs, like they fall in around the six, seven minute yeah. mark. There's a few longer boys in there. Um, so we have how many what tracks on the seven? seven? The seven there. Seven yeah. track yeah. We'll look at minutes? 45, 50 minutes. Yeah, yeah, but we're probably adding a wee bits of pieces in between. It depends if we decide to go for vinyl or not. Because okay. right, uh, yeah. with the length of the vinyl, we'd have to sort of rejig some things a wee bit and tidy it up to get the sides right. But. Yeah. Uh, with, if we don't go vinyl, we might end up throwing like a wee bit. We're talking about doing some synth stuff on it with Dale, so I might end up changing length of songs and stuff, but mm. we'll only really know once we decide for definite if we're going for yeah. the vinyl or not. Yeah. Keeping our options open. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's also the possibility, I guess, that if we're releasing it online as well, we can do some kind of uh, special edition where there's some additional bits. Yeah. You know, more than what Mega you pictures. Vinyl, the, this the hypothetical likes. vinyl that may or may, or may not appear. And looking at, look, a lot of your stuff as well is after selling out. Yeah. It's uh, fucking great yeah, on, lo- on Bandcamp. I know, know we're well low on t-shirts these days. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you bring any of them with you? Well, we have the, indeed. How oh. many orders of t-shirts have we done? To think that there's maybe 300, mm. maybe 350 elder dude t-shirts out there being... That's class. Yeah. Like that number, yeah. In people's... Sh- Ben's probably. <laughs> I was going to say being worn. But Friends and families. Just the gr- uh, like Greg's mom's mom. bought 260 of them and <laughs> threw them on the bin. Everybody fucking, like, I mean, 
uh, is there any plans of just even putting a fucking white t-shirt or a different color t-shirt? <laughs> no, black, black all day, black all day, every day. So is, you, is that black? It is actually, it's black. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, kind of it's worn, worn it's a well-worn yeah, well black. Worn black, yeah. black. Black all day, every day. <laughs> very, very, very dark blue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's cool. Um, like as I said, a band needs the merch to be selling, you know, to, to, yeah. to fund stuff, you know. Yeah, so we're always surprised when we go on tours and we come back and we're like, oh, these bags are a lot lighter than when we left. Like, we usually set, we usually get through it with a, a few things, losses, and <laughs> things. spillages. <laughs> <laughs> and um, just kind of in relation to kind of uh, gigs coming up, you've quite a bit um, planned. Um, just even kind of looking at your schedule, there, there's, there's a, is, is there a UK one there as well? There is Leeds as well. Stonebeck is next year. Yes. How do you feel about getting that one? Mega happy. Yeah, yeah very good happy. to get like, that. Yeah. yeah, when we first started looking for gigs over in Manchester or that sort of direction, um, the guy Chunk that runs Stonebeck Promotions, he was one of the people we were told to speak to, like right. get in touch with him. Mm-hmm. And then the festival just appeared, and I was like, we need on that fucking lineup. Yeah. And I just messaged him, and he was like, yeah, you were on the list initially, and nice one. we got it. So it was sweet. Cool. But uh, hopefully we'll be over in England before that, towards the end of the year, doing like the return tour with Dead Witches because we had uh, them over in April. Yes, so yes, that works be, out good. I think with, it's with end that, of November. Yeah. It'll be announced yeah. fairly soon. Yeah, I think I like. I mean, there's a huge scene in fucking England, like that. Yeah, it is seriously big. I like, guess is what we've been over quite a few times now, like maybe five, six times. We've gone over a number of couple of days here and there, like, and it's mm. always good, like always good, like even like so last we did St Patrick's Day with uh, was it Mount Soma, Ten Ton Slog and Chubby, mm-hmm. in uh, in the Dev, was it the Dev or Blackheart yeah, Dev, yeah. the Dev, and it was just like wall to wall people yeah if every gig you played was like that you'd be a very very yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, but most ones like we, especially in London and stuff you get a lot of people showing out like even ones we've showed up to and been like not expecting many people like there's people coming off the street and you're like this is there's yeah. also yeah. the, the fact that it was snowing very heavily that day yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> there was a lot of snow that day like <laughs> that people that people years work then yeah <laughs> that's it <laughs> Worship the, worship the snow gods. And um, have you kind of looked any further? I mean, the slug, to be fair to them, they're over in Germany um, as well. Um, like, like um, I was talking to the guitarist um, with Worn Out, Alex, and he was saying there's a huge scene as well in Germany, in particular two or three cities for stone or sludge, all that as well. Like, he named them out. Yeah, you know? it's something, something we've definitely discussed. Uh, I think we had have had a slight, like, just a wee chat with the chubby guys about doing something. Um, together, but at the minute there's nothing really. It's all concrete. dependent on the outcome of Brexit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> literally, we are. Oh, no. we generally, we are waiting on the outcome for Brexit because, like, you know, if that is the case, we might need sort of visas and stuff. Jesus so Christ. we're generally waiting on the outcome of that before we put anything concrete down. So, Jake, you have the prize for win- for mentioning Brexit in all my fucking podcasts. Let's <laughs> 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 get political. Give him a trophy. <laughs> it's, it's the only reason why it's, it's delayed right now. Like, we would be planning it. It would be being organised. We just all took a wee hiatus. Like, okay, we'll wait to see. Yeah, how see how it pans, pans out, out, you know. Yeah. Jesus, mad. Yeah, not a good time. But, um, so, yeah, you've um, quite a few gigs then in Belfast. You're busy through the summer, lads, I think, looking at your schedule anyway. Yeah, June, July. Uh, it could be busier. Going. There's more yeah. in the works. Yeah. As well. Yeah, there's, yeah. A, there's a couple with Zora coming up, but they're unannounced yet, but they'll be coming in nice. the next three or four months or so. Yeah. Um, there's, there's quite a, there's, like, I mean, what do you think of the scene down this side anyway, you know? It's very strong, isn't it? it is oh, strong. yeah. There's a lot to be done down here, like, little bands playing all the time, and they're all, everyone fucking class. Like, every one of them just is smashed out of the water. Yeah. Like, uh, stuff like Sage of Limerick, you get to see, what, 37-odd bands playing yeah. in one day. So yeah. that, and even the gigs we played in Dublin... There's never you're never short for support. Like you keep finding new bands that have just appeared, yeah. and you're like, "Fucking hell!" The Siege of Limerick's from? made such a good name for itself over in England as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everybody over there knows mm. of it. But even like so playing well. anywhere down here, like I'd never, I think we've ever had a gig we played down here where like some of them we've been down, we haven't known the sport until we played with them, and then there's never been a band we played with we haven't been like those guys are fucking class. Like mm. every band we're like fucking class, and like it's a good thing with the scene as well. That like you'll sit down, you'll chat with them afterwards. Like you'll yeah. never, even no matter how big bands are that we play with, you never have anyone be like. I no time for you, no chat, and ah, like no, everyone sit and talk happen. away. Like, there's a great sense of community around. Yeah, yeah. Everybody is. helps each other out, you know. And uh, you'll kind of find as well that um, two or three lads are in other bands as well, you know. Yeah, a lot of incest in the bands. Like, <laughs> yeah, how do you feel about that? <laughs> are any oh, uh, multitasking actually? Or, or man deal here's just back from tour with his other band, Led Octopus. 
They're just uh, away on a big tour then. He's just back in. He's all the world. looks of it as well. What is it? <laughs> You've all the looks of it as well. Yeah. <laughs> good yeah. one. It's been good. Like, it's, it's been good, definitely. <laughs> just back, yeah. We're away about six weeks. Haggard yeah. man. No, yeah. even. I'm u- honestly usually more tired coming back from our tours. <laughs> 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 That's just That's me. That's the effect I have. That's brand new. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. spend my time with me. Yeah, and um, I just want to bring in Andy there from Molder Bear. Uh, just grab the mic there, and. How do you know these lads? How, how far back does the relationship go? Uh, okay. Um, honestly, it was uh, I had sold, I had sold a wah pedal and some other shit pedals about I don't know, five years ago, four years ago, and it was the guy who was drumming for Coach Lager at the time, and he was like, "Oh man, you playing band?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." And he goes, "Oh, you know, you know, have you heard about this guy Jake Wallace?" And I'm like, "I don't know anything about him." Yeah. Um, and and I had been playing uh, like I'm 40 now, so I've been gigging since 1998 or so. Right. So all of this was kind of new to me, kind of getting back into the scene and stuff. Sorry, and uh, but like I think the next day I was scrolling through Facebook and they'd done a feature on you on like Ultimate Guitar or something like that. It must have been when you guys had put like one of your first videos. And I was like, holy fuck, there's that kid. Holy shit. <laughs> so um, I can't remember like one of his messages the other, and, and we kind of like so yeah, we've been sort of mates and we've kicked together for for quite a few years. So yeah, I remember seeing Muller by about fuck. Seven years ago, maybe something like that. I think he was supporting Hornets. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Band, yeah. yeah. That was the first time I'd ever seen Muller Bear. And then yeah. we, we were just putting on our first shows around this time. It was like that was a bit later. That was about what four, about four years ago or so. Right. We were putting on our first shows in like our hometown in Balmina, and we we're looking for like support bands. And Goat Schlager was like a local band from Balmina, and the one that I was always trying to reach out for was Muller Bear because I'd seen right. them before and knew that there was like a couple members that kind of were based around that area. Yeah. So we reached out, and that was our third ever gig, I think. And okay. it was all smaller bear. That's cool. Coach yeah, Lager. it was good crack, that gig. Yeah. But no, it's it, like, I say, Jake, um, Jake sent me a message a couple of weeks ago, and he's like, man, do you want to play this gig? And I was like, yes, man. <laughs> of course I want to fucking play this gig. Come on, let's move on. So, yeah, so I, I feel like I've got to hear some of the new album that these guys are working on. Yeah. And I, ca- I kind of like it. Yeah. I kind of like it a bit. It got exclusive. <laughs> so it's not the worst thing you've ever yeah, heard. No, no, no. But um, no, it's been good fun. It's been good fun learning their, their songs. Um, and I'm hoping tonight goes well. Yeah. How long um, did it take you to learn the songs? Uh, but not <laughs> or, or do you know? <laughs> 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 we'll know tonight. Uh, yeah, I was kind of like, there was a couple of wee riffs where I was like, well, let's crack with this one. But um, you won't actually enjoy tonight. I know you won't. We'll be panicking. We'll just yeah. say, <laughs> like, is everything there is, okay? I know there is a certain amount of trepidation where when like i was saying i was saying to the guys in Mullerbear last week it's like so much of what we play is muscle memory yeah and i don't care like and with this i'm coming down going every fucking riff that i have to play i'm going is it now is oh, it now is it this one right. does this go sorry right, i still do that out, lads. yeah no so, well, but i think it'll be fine yeah the third andy he's, he's gonna absolutely smash it and we've had one solid practice so we'll be fine yeah. <laughs> I, I was, i'm relying on you guys to play it the way you've recorded it because if you fuck it up there you go. I uh, will come for all of yeah. you. Fucking <laughs> every single fucking well, we've heard Andy, we could have had more practices, but some uh, some dickhead in the band like ripped his hand open on a fence and got six stitches and couldn't pr- couldn't play. That was the night. <laughs> I, I was the dickhead. <laughs> like, two, two, two weeks ago, uh, I, uh, I ripped the hand, I ripped the hole in my hand, I had like six stitches in my hand and couldn't play for like two weeks. And what were you doing? Climbing a fence drunk. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah I'll do it. Like, There's I'll plenty of fences down here as well. Yeah, yeah sweet. <laughs> we leave them off tonight. Uh, I'll do it after we finish playing. <laughs> Get the other hand on. And uh, you're, I presume you're staying in Cork tonight, lads. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you be tempted to stay another night and go up to Manamart? Oh, uh, easily tempted. If I didn't have big corporate work on Monday morning, uh, I could be very corporate. easily tempted. Uh, I have band practice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being late for my own band practice. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it, lads. Um, I just want to go through what I have for you anyway. The, so j- June the 27th is the Axe Attack, Volume 1. That's in Belfast, isn't it? Yeah, yes. 39 Gordon Street. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. The 28th of June, then you're playing with Croza, Tombs, yeah. and I want a dead cult. Yep. Oh. Yeah, big show. Big what one. a big line one. up there, lads. Yeah, that's going to be a big one. Might actually go up for that myself. Uh, June, July the 5th, then Strangle Wire. Yes. Class band, man. Yep, they're, they're, they're making waves, aren't they? Yeah, big they waves. Are. Yeah, that's a good Just one. Just completely punishing and like very, <laughs> very tight. Like that's the yeah the way to describe them. That we've yeah. seen live. It's so fucking intense, but it's like incredibly tight the whole yeah. way through. I was watching the video. that went out in the desert. I can't remember what song it was. 
Yeah, can't remember. <laughs> and uh, Spirit Runer EP launch is July the 6th. Yes, um, that's in the limelight in Belfast. Yeah. So that's it. That's what we know anyway of the moment. And uh, Crypt of the Rift in December as yeah. well. And then there could be a few Zahora ones thrown in the mix as well. Yeah, yeah someone in the middle and the Dead Witches tour as well. And the, yeah. Yeah, yeah there'll be a couple of pretty much pop everything up. that hasn't. And the Cork one as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and there'll okay. probably a few more coming at some point. We yeah. just take. You're a busy gigs. band, lads. You know? Oh, we're just band slots. We take any gig we can get. Yeah, like. yeah. Fucking, I mean, mm, yeah. fair play to you. Like, I mean, there's a lot of travelling involved as well. Mm. You know, so it's so only holidays for us. We don't get out very much. Like, like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we spend all our time cooked up in practice rooms, but then we get out and get a bit wild. And then climb fucking fences. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> it's standard <laughs> weekend. So that's it, lads. Um, much obliged for you to come in straight away from your trip down from Belfast. I really appreciate it. No, no problem. Problem. Cheers, well Wishing well. nothing but success with the new album. And uh, nice meeting you as well. Um, Andy from Molar Bear. Cheers, man. Thank you very much. So enjoy the night and enjoy the gig. And you've been listening to The Metal Cell at uh, the Metal United Festival, I suppose, to be the best way of putting it. Thank you. Over and out. I'm a man, 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 I'm a